What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to the Fantasy Football Card Quest. This is your shot. Calling on investors. Calling on investors. And collectors. We love you, collectors. Collecting is investing, as I'm so graciously reminded all the time. In fact, one of my good friends and fellow subscribers in the Quest, Kino Moss, has named his LLC Collecting is Investing. I love that name. <clears throat> This is your shot, though, guys. This is your shot to prove that you are the best football card collector and investor on the quest. The challenge is live. Kicked it off by putting my picks on the board. Now, I haven't discussed budget or specific card sets yet. We're going to talk about that in this video. I'm going to share with you guys my screen to show you guys the format that we used last year so you can think about your picks and your process going into this. But what I want you to do is leave a comment on this video within the next seven days. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll go live in about a week and a half and look at the initial leaderboard and look at everybody's picks. It's going to provide a lot of insight to how the market is moving around certain players and get a gauge for popularity and who we think as a community, as a consensus, is gonna go up or down to win us the Card Quest Investor Challenge Championship. And there's some prizes, right? We've got a very rare Spectra LaVisca Chanel, a very rare Spectra Keyshawn Vaughn. Talking these cards are numbered out of 25, 20. I'm also got a Mike Evans Prism rookie card I'm, I'm putting in on the line for this challenge. And, and last but not least, a Robert Woods autographed Prism rookie card. So I've also got some unopened packs of cards that I want to incorporate in as well to give out prizes around the top three finishes, all right? Because I have a feeling this might get close. This might get close, so... Uh, I definitely want to make it exciting because it's going to provide a lot of value for all of us. So leave your comment. Let me share my screen here and show you the format from last year. So you can see the Car Dojo actually won, and there's quite a long horizontal scroll bar to this. And this is the format I used last year. So essentially, I want you to pick the player and the card. So in this case, Base Prism. Teddy Bridgewater. You can see that there were some other guys like Brett Hallamore. He he had a great pick here in the Donruss Rookie Kings insert of Patrick Mahomes. And this card, we watched it go up quite a bit. What we're going to do this year is we're going to extend our budget. We're going to extend our budget to, let's say, $200. $200 is our budget. This is going to give us a lot of nice flexibility to invest in the cards we want to invest in. So this is player and card specific. And then what I'm going to do, and I'll give you guys access to this sheet, is I use PWCC Marketplace, or maybe I'll use 130 point this year, or maybe I'll just use eBay recently sold. Uh, but what I'll do in this link is a link to where I find the sale price of that card on the day that we start the challenge. And then based on your budget, we'll look at how many you can buy. And I, I kind of just did an average uh, on this myself based on, and if you guys want to go to the length of planning out the entire $200 budget and give me quantities of each position, uh, because I'm going to ask you to pick a QB, a running back, and a wide receiver. Those three positions. Pick one player from each of those positions and pick one card for each of those players. So, for example, the winner last year was the Card Dojo. All right, if you haven't checked out and subscribed to his YouTube channel, incredible, consistent YouTuber with awesome sound effects. What? Opening packs, hunting for those precious Patrick Mahomes on a weekly basis. His total profit was $428, and that's how he was able to finish in first place. Now, this time, we've got a little bit extra time. I'd like to run this challenge for two months. If we ended a week from now, that's June 17th. I want to run it till close to the end of August. Uh, 
it may take me a couple days to, to get the, the data input after you guys leave all your comments. So we're looking at starting this at the end of, of June here and we'll wrap it up at the end of August. It's gonna be an absolutely incredible eye-opening experiment and uh, a fun competition. You want bragging rights? You wanna get up on the wall of fame here on the quest with me? Get your name up there and get on the leaderboard. I can only fit so many guys on this board. And what I'm gonna do is change it up on a weekly, bi-monthly basis with who's winning the competition, the, Inve the Fantasy Football Card Quest Investor Championship 2021. So I haven't actually picked the cards and the price point yet. I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna let you guys run. I'm gonna do that. Plus, I'm, I'm, I've met with Sean earlier from Raven Invest, working on the sheets. We're making incredible progress there. In fact, in the next, within the next couple of days, we're gonna be releasing that and sending it live to everybody. That's gonna provide tremendous value as well. And I'll be releasing a video um, going through the sheets and how to utilize it to its maximum potential. All right. So with that. That's it in this video. Short, sweet. Hopefully my computer can handle it. You can handle it, computer. Good, you better. All right. I'm sorry, I know, I love you. I love you. I love you, I need you, computer, all right. All right, guys. So until then, I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace. Testing, testing, is this thing on? Right, the football, I gotta call it something better than that. I just, uh, card quest. The Card Quest Investor Challenge Championship.